Yes, my son I'm very happy today. Well, where is your wife Bonnie? Is she ready yet or not? Mama leave her. She is such a drama queen. She said, this is totally injustice, and I don't want to be the part of it. You can go with your mother don't drag me into this fake marriage. What does it mean? What is fake marriage? Mama you know we can't change her thinking. She is a very odd woman. Leave her now please. Don't waste the time. Uncle Fred must be waiting for us. Not only odd Mason. She is beyond the odd. Well, let's go now. Yes Mama, come on now. We are getting late. Oh Mason. Finally you came. You know. I was waiting for you people from so long. So, I'm here for you Uncle Fred. Well, Uncle I want to say this. During the whole wedding you have to sit with Leo, and they will handle other people. Because as I told you already, Richard told me this before. He don't want to disclose the health issue of Leo in front of his relatives. At last, now they are Leo's in-laws. And we must also take care of their sentiments as well. So, it's better. Nobody get to know about Leo and his mental sickness. Okay I get this whole thing Mason. I can understand this well. I want to ask you one more important thing Mason. Have you talked with Leo, about wedding and its afterlife? You after marriage many things change. And Layla is a normal girl, she has some sentiments connected to her marriage as well. Like other girls. Hope you are getting me. Mason? Uncle why you are getting worry about anything? While, I'm here with you always, side by side. Please don't think about it right now. I'm here for you and Leo as well, relax and try to be calm. For now, you just have to handle Leo during his wedding ceremony. And nothing else rest of the things, you can leave on me. Just let them get married now. That we will handle everything. Don't worry. I'm really very proud of you my dear Mason. You are a gemstone in our whole family. You are a life savior for me and for my grandson Leo. Thanks for being there for me always. And just look my own son Peter. We are doing this all for his son's sake, and his cooperation is zero in this matter. Uncle I'm also your son, just like Peter for you, don't worry. Well, let's go my son now. We also have to see all the arrangements there. Like Peter. He is my son and your family is going to marry him, without my permission. Even, they don't bother to tell me, inform me Peter. What is this all happening in my house, with my own son? Like, how you can bow before them. You know everything so well. I have no right on my own son. But, your father and her sister have every right on Leo. Olivia what I'll say to you now. You are right. But I'm so helpless. Don't say anything to me and go into the wedding ceremony. And give this whole world a chance to laugh on you. My son and on your whole family. Please Olivia. Don't increase my depression. I'm already very tense about Leo. And you are Leo's mother and my wife. How I can go without you my dear wife. Please at least you don't do this with me please. Come on join me. Peter please keep silent. I said just keep silent. Don't make me part of this fakeism please. You can go now, I'm not asking you to stay here. Go please. Hello today is my wedding. You want to go with me in my wedding? Congratulations. No, sir I'm going to my work. May God bless you and give you more happiness amen. I was also joking. Why I'll take you into my wedding. <laughs> Hello sir, today is my wedding. You want to go with me? That's good congratulations. No, sir I'm going to open my shop. Then go away from here. Why you are standing here? And staring me? Just go outside and look what he is doing there with the pedestrians. Peter go and control him now. And you are going to marry this boy who even can't handle himself. Why your father want to ruin the life of that girl Layla and also of Leo. Insane people. Olivia, I'm helpless in front of him. I can't do anything. 
Everything belongs to him this business, wealth everything. Even this house, and moreover to that, he is my father. Well, you go I'm not going anywhere. Your Auntie Emily, your cousin Mason, and your daddy are more than enough for this all play. No need for me so, please leave me alone. And go. Where's Mama? I'm going to my home, she is not here. You just wait my dear Leo, she is coming my son. Don't worry if you keep silent for a while. Then you can't imagine how many surprises are waiting for you. And you know Leo, when you don't speak much. You look like a prince my dear grandson. Sure why not grandfather? I'm here to obey you. And I'll not speak much. Okay fine then. Very good. You are my champion. No, I'm Leo K. Okay? Don't call me champion. Okay okay Leo. So, Richard how are you? Now you must be very happy. You even can't imagine this day in your life. Everything is going according to you. Yes, sir I'm so much happy and excited. And thank you so much for your kindness Sir Mason. You have no idea, you came into our lives as an angel. I can't thank you much. Well, we have a very short time. Because Leo's mother is not feeling well. She is suffering with high fever and BP and also she didn't came here today. So, kindly after few minutes give orders to waiters start serving the food please. Sure why not Sir Mason. Well my all relatives are here they want to meet with Leo. So, now I'm going to introduce him. Thanks for your company. Sure why not Richard. Matthew please come here, let me introduce you to my son-in-law Leo Peter. Your brother-in-law. Leo, how are you? I'm fine sir. You must be fine too? Yes, Leo I'm also fine. Doctor you want to change my medicine? Sorry I didn't get it Leo. What are you saying? Leo, look your bride has just arrived in the hall. Come here please. Hello. Mr. Peter how are you? Yes I'm fine. What about you? I'm good sir. Congratulations sir. Can I take a selfie with you? Sure why not. Hello my daughter how are you? Yes, I'm fine uncle. What about you? Many many congratulations. You are looking very pretty. Thank you. Dear God, you are my everything. Leo didn't create any mess there. My husband didn't face any embarrassment due to Leo. God you are watching everything. Protect my son and husband. Amen. You are looking very nice. Looking like a doll. I don't know this. A bride can be this much beautiful. Thank you so much dear husband. Husband? What is husband? You are my husband. I'm your friend. Not husband. <laughs> so, now we need your permission. We want to go back now. Because as you know Leo's mother is not feeling good. Thanks for everything Richard. Please you all take care of my daughter. She's my everything. We are not rich like you, but sir, I tried my level best to do the arrangements. I hope you like it. Sure why not. Richard, don't be so formal. Everything was good. Okay daddy take care bye. Okay my daughter. Take care bye. Thanks for everything. Leo, now listen to me. If you behave with her nicely with love and care, 
Then I have so many surprises for you. And this is my promise with you I will bought a new car for you. Just behave with her nicely. And if you feel you are not in a good mood to talk with her. Then, walk away. Don't talk with anyone. Just go for a while somewhere else. But no fight no shouts. If you follow me then Leo. Many surprises for you every day. Okay my dear. Promise? Yes promise. But where she will sleep? If you allow her to sleep with you into your room. Then be ready for the park journey. Because, she is now your best friend. She'll take care of you, love you and she will do everything you'll ask her to. Yes, yes I want to go. Then allow her to sleep with you in your room. Do promise me? Done dude done. Okay now I'm leaving. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. Go now, otherwise. I will break my all promises with you. Okay okay yes I'm going bye. You are very beautiful Layla. May God bless you amen. Thank you so much mother-in-law. You look so tired now. Go please and have some rest. Okay sure. I'm so sorry Olivia. Seriously I tried a lot to stop them from doing this all. But I'm helpless in front of daddy. I know Peter, this is not your fault. <laughs> Have you given him the tablet to sleep? Yes Peter already. Seriously, I didn't have a bride like you Layla. You are my best friend. Leo dear. This is not a joke. I'm just discussing with you about marriage preparations. Like how we minimize the things for this urgent marriage. Okay I'm sorry if you don't like my laughing. Next time I will control on my laugh. No no it's not like that Leo. I love to see you laugh. Well, you are also looking very tired. You want to have some rest? Yes I took medicine. I'm feeling sleepy. So you also sleep please. Leo medicine for what? You don't know three times in a day. I take my medicines every day. My mama give me and sometimes daddy. Leo. I'm also asking from you. Why you take medicines my dear husband? What happened? Please stop asking questions. Let's sleep now. Okay, okay, Leo. So, Mr. Mason, you fulfilled your dream? Now you must be very happy. Yes, I'm so happy. Bonnie. Well, Mason, you are answerable to God for this stunt. You ruined someone's life. You and your Uncle Fred bypassed Leo parents. Don't forget. God is watching you. Can you keep silent for a while? I wish Richard and his family get to know all reality soon and they filed a case against you all. I've already told them everything. Don't be over smart Bonnie okay? Don't lie with me okay? You can make fool to everyone, but not to me Mason. I'm your wife. Hello guys this is me Sayyid Mohsin Raza from Naja Cartoons uh, and thanks for supporting my channel. And uh, I must request to you, uh, please continue your support to Naja Cartoon and keep subscribe, like, share my channel. Thank you.